where temperatures are in the upper uh, 60s at the moment. Making our way into the low 80s, no big surprise there. We were there over the weekend. Those winds will continue to stay on shore and that could track uh, in some rain during the course of the morning in Georgia and then in our southern zones later in the day. Heavier rains are stretched along this frontal area where severe weather could break out today, causing some problems in the poles across the mid Mississippi Valley areas from uh, Missouri up into uh, even Michigan. Michigan could deal with some thunderstorms, but we're watching what could happen here in the Caribbean. This is potential tropical cyclone 18. All the forecast models taken in the Gulf of Mexico missing Florida. The lines that you see there are just low skilled uh, models that are just more climately climate uh, climatologically driven. And here you can see that the track from the Hurricane Center uh, takes it in with those dynamical models more towards Louisiana. Factors that would keep it away from Florida is a mid-level Bermuda Ridge that would likely steer it westward away from the peninsula. It is in a favorable environment for strengthening to hurricane force in the Caribbean, but once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it would likely weaken because of all of this orange. This is really dry air. Also, water temperatures have been dropping off in the Gulf of Mexico there. So unlike, say, if this were October or even in September, storms, once again, the Gulf, they tend to strengthen. This would likely not adhere to that type of uh, situation. But we'll be watching it right now. There's no circulation center. There's not even any big thunder thunderstorms around it so it doesn't even get a name at this point. We're looking for those numbers in the low 80s here through the course of the upcoming week. We will see Wednesday, Thursday, a slight uptick in the rain potential as that system moves in the Gulf of Mexico. Some of that tropical moisture could lift northward. Today, though, those morning showers target Georgia. Notice how midday, not much activity. And then as we head in the evening, uh, beyond 3 o'clock, we'll start to see a slight uptick in rain chances from St. John's over to Clay counties as showers track on shore during the afternoon. So we'll leave that rain chance at 20% here today and tomorrow and then increase it Wednesday into Thursday as more moisture rides up the peninsula and enhances our uh, easterly flow leading into some showers and a few isolated thunderstorms. That's the way it looks here in the Weather Center. Let's hit the roads now. Here is your time saver traffic.